Acelero anestesia. Molto bene, Giuseppe. Dove ci sono? Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Ah, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. gonna help me out, V? <laughs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. And you're saving my life, V. Truly. He's a good boy. He just lacks direction. Demons walk with him. They fail as the Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shy to hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. How's your problem? What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Cut him some slack, will you? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. You know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways. I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. What's this? Grab a look. Scream sheet. Scope it out. Scream sheet. Scope it out. Mm hmm Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. 
Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word, you know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. Clan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh. How so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. And your man Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. Fat-ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? No goddamn limes? Spare veterans and change. Cybernetic guard. Go to the people. Show them, Tom. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Yep. No place like home. Sebastian Ibarra. I haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? In the two years gone by, not much has changed. You know how it would. It has strong roots. Ever watered by the same blood. Now, 
Tell me about you. I eh, pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Shit! Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carrying? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty... One more what's... fucking word. Stay out of this! I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. Yeah, something I can help you with. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh, fuck! You can drive. Now out. What, what are you doing? You got us? Friendly BD, drop your weapons. Don't move! You're under arrest. Stay where you are! Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now! Ugh.
Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce white. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stinks. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stinks. <clears throat> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Yeah? You ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your tongue? Enough of the chatter. What now? Getting booked. Gonna do a stint. <laughs> Get it? Come on, stint. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, I just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck ordinary yeah. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let them go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Nah, Stintz wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. He's Hayward born, bred, and grown like us. Hates suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Ah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Wait, Wells? Like Mama Wells. <laughs> Thought I'd recognize the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to seal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe owes him big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabron's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. Sense of kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. 
Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gongs will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a Major League player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. These legends know where you'll find most of them. The graveyard. <laughs> matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Well, can't give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her bio mom. Honey, Fingers crossed it's not too you? late. Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing Black Market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking.
on your toes. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. This fuck these Reapers. Oh, yeah, me. They're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. Score big on that prima scrope she's got. Cabrones. Thick as locusts. Let's wait and plant a spree. Take one down. Just real quiet. Hey, grab the one closest. Let's take him. Swift there. Looks like you got him. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not in. look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442, Traumatine Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomod working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, vato!
I think... Holy shit, it worked. Where, cabron? Get her outside! Where, get her out! Terrace! to control. Patient NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for penogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the Metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, if it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, no, Mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. And I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Man on the ass, tailing us. Cuidado. I don't like it. I'm gonna take a bit. Scott! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, bitch! Can't! Keep her steady! 
might be! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you up! Chingado! Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean... I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always? I'm always never not nice. Ain't your average badges. It's Max TAC. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Dreams then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping your deeds. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip Band program. 
which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to... Stupid gates busted again. Third time. I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs.
Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? multi-story Dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Floats. Talk about yesterday.
man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. I thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Gonna be long? Guy's up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You wanna shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it, you move on. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but t buck she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Well, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I say. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Hello? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Find me 
me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. You're the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... What are you... Not only... Checking them out? You. Nah, hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Now just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay 
that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug-free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... 
How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh, Mr. V? somebody where you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, Got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem.
corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of ennies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. 
Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Right around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. But I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego.